What's going on YouTube? We got a couple things to get into this week. We're gonna check out these Stingray and Z06 reservations, just how many of these things are actually out there. And then we're also gonna get into these C8 order codes. Where the heck is my car and what do these numbers actually mean? Let's get it. As usual, before we get started, please show some love for the content guys and hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell if you want to be notified and definitely hit that thumbs up like button. Subscribing lets me know that you guys appreciate the content and want to see more. Hitting the thumbs up promotes the video so that more people get the information. That's just how the YouTube algorithm works. So hit that subscribe, hit that like button guys. All right guys, let's get into it. Stingrays first. So I tapped into the three big boys this week, the top three Corvette dealers in the country. Sioka, McMulkin, and Criswell. As of early December, Sioka has delivered 2,800 C8 since its inception. Now, I'm not sure how many orders are outstanding and growing at Sioka, but I put my reservation in for a Stingray in October. I'm currently sitting in the queue at 3,947. That's 1,147 deliveries ahead of me. So guys, check this out. I never got a reservation number, never got an email notification, and never got a call confirming to me that number. So tracking these cars, guys, is like playing chess. It's, it's a little bit crazy, right? So in covering all this information for us, something told me to call Shioka. Turns out my salesperson quit and a bunch of other folks had no reservation or status. So keep in touch with your salesperson, guys, because you never know what's going on and you don't want to get lost in this shuffle, right? So that's what's going on with Sioka right now in terms of their numbers and their volume. I really don't know what number they're at right now in terms of reservations. I didn't get that information out of the salesperson I spoke to, but it's a pretty high number and growing. So if you're interested in a C8 Stingray and you put an order in the system or a reservation in the system with them right now, it's probably going to take a while for you to get that car. You're probably pushing... 12 to 16 months easy so mcmulkin so if you were to place a reservation with them right now you're looking at a 12 plus month delivery as they have over 1400 orders and reservations in front of you now we get to criswell if you place a reservation with them right now you're looking at a 12 to 16 month delivery as they have over 1100 orders and reservations in front of you so it's just kind of paints the picture of there's still a lot of volume going on. The hype around the Z06 and just the C8 in general, a lot of people are very, very interested in these vehicles. Let's take a look at Z06 reservations. Shioka. Now I'm going to be honest with you guys. In my conversations with the dealership, I don't even want to quote the actual number that I've been told in terms of how many reservations they had for Z06s. So I'm not even going to quote that number because it just sounded absolutely insane to me. So I'm just going to say well over 3,000 reservations at Sioka. Okay. What I've also been told is that a decent number of those folks have dropped off the Sioka list because the number of reservations were way, way, way too high, which would have constituted 2024 and through 2026 deliveries. And those folks obviously didn't want to wait nor that they want to have their money tied up. I can also share with folks who may not yet have received their confirmation and or reservation numbers, the dealership is a bit behind. I was told specifically, which makes total sense to me, that the reason for the delays were due to business as usual, meaning all departments for the Sioka Corvette dealership had more than just Corvette reservations to process. They also had their day jobs which meant selling and delivering other cars, arranging transport for shipping, processing and financing, and dealing with customer queries across the sales department. To put it bluntly, guys, they were not prepared for the overwhelming response with regards to Z06 reservations. They just weren't ready, okay? McMulkin, as of a few days ago, the current reservation number was 1,892 and counting. And yes, they're still taking reservations. So if you put a reservation in now, you'd have almost 2,000 deliveries in front of you. Criswell, 
As of a few days ago, the current reservation number was 1,197 and counting. If you put a reservation in with them, you'd have roughly 1,200 deliveries in front of you. 12 to 14 months out, guys? I'm starting to see why folks are paying above MSRP. They just want to enjoy the car. Now, a guy said to me, you know what, Griff? I value my time more than I value my money because tomorrow isn't guaranteed. I want to enjoy the car and enjoy my time while I'm here. If I've got a lot more time left on this big blue ball, I'll make up the difference. And if I don't, it was a great run while it lasted. Wow. No, I'm not there yet, guys, but I can honestly say I definitely understand. All right, let's get to these event codes before this video turns into a 15 minute job. And oh yeah, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, guys. I'm trying to grow this channel and I'm trying to share this information with as many people as possible. I definitely appreciate it. All right, guys, we're going to go through these quick. Now, there's a lot more codes than this, but these are the six that really matter to us. Okay, 1100 preliminary order accepted. This is when the initial order takes place. You go into a dealership and tell them you want to order a car, not a reservation, but an actual order is when the dealer takes that order and actually puts it into a GM system. 2000, placed order accepted by GM. This means GM has officially accepted your order and is authorized to begin the build, okay? Your order gets into the build queue at this point, all right? It goes into a queue. 3000, accepted by production control. This means your order has now been accepted into the production queue, all right? This is also where they begin looking at the build weeks for your car. 3800, produced. This is a big one. This is the one that we really want to see. This is when your car is 100% built and then it moves into QC, which is quality control. Again, it goes into a queue. Don't forget, there's a lot of cars stacked up. So it's not like your car is the only one being built. And as soon as it goes into QC, it's just going to pass through really quickly. The car could sit there for a few weeks. There's a bunch of other cars that have to go through QC as well. 4B00 mean it's bade, okay? This is when your car is out of the building and it's in the holding lot, available and ready for transport. And then of course we've got 5,000, that's delivered to the dealer. Your car has officially arrived at the dealership or wherever it is you're supposed to pick up the car. You may have a museum delivery, but at this point your car is complete and it's been delivered to its final destination before it gets to you. And the only thing left to do at this point, guys, is grab your keys and you are out. That's all I have this week, guys. Until next time, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and I'll see you next week.